Well, good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day. And uh, I've got a few things done today. So, let's take a look here. Okay. This is all painted now. This is around my skylight. And uh, it actually, I'm very pleased with it. I don't know how how it shows up in your uh, in the camera, but it uh, turned out actually very nice. So that part is done. Did a little repair around this. I still have to do some some more around this. Uh, just a little bit, a um, little bit of repair. Um, what else did we do today? Oh, we cut in some corners where the paint was overlapping. So you can see that we cut in some corners. See, we also finished up the insides of these doors. Let's see. Oh my goodness, yeah. We finished up the inside of that door. It turned out really good. The stool, I went ahead and put uh, the uh, polyurethane. Actually, it's for floors, but it's really tough. So it has polyurethane on the outside, and then I painted, did all the inside with polyurethane also. Then back here in the back, let's see. Oh my goodness, I mounted a TV. It's on a swivel, and uh, I'll put some uh, bands on there for travel, but uh, just uh, it's uh, actually much smaller than it looks. It looks gigantic in here. I actually put one that was almost twice that big in here, and then uh, my wife said, oh, I'm sorry, that's too big. So uh, per Debbie's request, we went to a small one. So that's, uh, it's all working. Everything's doing great there. And of course I did this door a couple days ago, but I this, today I just painted the inside uh, of this door. So it's all complete, 100%. Don't have to go back and paint it again. Then in this corner, of course it's where my pump and my little six gallon, 6.6 gallon uh, uh, pressure tank came in. It will mount right there. The pump will mount right on top of it. So my goodness, we're to a point here in a few days, we'll have water in this thing. Isn't that great? So there you go. I also painted this today. I also pulled wire for my electrical boxes that I've cut in. I have four of these electrical boxes, two on each side. I'm also going to put one in the back. Um, the reason, I'm just going to set a box, just mount a box right in here. Uh, the reason I want electric back here is because I will be towing uh, a vehicle and it has a block heater and uh, it would be nice to be able to plug in my block heater even while I'm traveling down the road, that's when I, that way when I'm, if we're in really cold weather, um, when we get out and get in the car, it'll already be warmed up and we won't have any trouble with it starting. We also have a block heater uh, right here. This is for the outside plug. That block heater is for my engine uh, on my bus. So, uh, here's the next plug right there and um, again I pulled wire today to these things and then here's here's uh, the other plug it's right there by the generator I will have a 220 plug on the inside and the 220 plug will be uh, in case I ever need uh, to weld or something like that because the generator of course produces 220 Well, I think it's uh, turning out real good. We've got uh, a lot more little things to do, but I think the old Bluebird is going to be very serviceable for many, many years. And we are excited about getting on the road here in the next few weeks. Debbie says I can't set any goals for that. But anyway, we're going to get on the road and meet some of you awesome folks. And we'll be doing videos Hopefully then it'll be a little easier to do them on a daily basis. So, hey, thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you for being a part of our life. Uh, we, uh, we enjoy you very much. We enjoy your comments. And the fact that you're just uh, 
uh, watching what we're doing here. So uh, we'll keep putting the videos out. You keep watching. Tell your friends about it. Let's get the numbers up a little bit. I'm very excited about what's happening right now. So uh, uh, thanks for watching again. Bye-bye.